Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today, we are on our new account. New account playthrough part two um, of our second go-around at a new account playthrough. Really my third. I mean, I have three. Done this, this is the third time I've done this, but only the second time I've started over from scratch, like a new account to help beginners out. We're, our ultimate goal is to get through the world quest and then... Grab the Goblin Gang, get the Rowan team going, get get our Gob Truffles, get, uh, you know, Guardians um, and the Key Team and stuff like that. We may not get that that far, but I want to at least get to the Goblin Gang, get that going after I beat the World Quest. So that's our ultimate goal here. World Quest, get it done, Goblin Gang, move on to Rowan, maybe stop somewhere around there. A little bit earlier than last time. But we're starting out here on Daily Login Rewards. So in the beginning, in the first two, three episodes of this... I'm probably going to be over explaining to beginners and everything like how to move gems on the board, spells and mana blocking and just mechanics of the game and stuff like when Luther pops up like this. But eventually we're going to get to day to day stuff to where I'm going to be just doing it off off video like dungeons and adventure board. Like I'll explain to you why it's important to do it every day and then I may jump on here and do it every day on my own without recording it. But for now, for, for part two, we're just going to capture everything up until that point. So... Every day when you log in after reset time, you'll receive some daily rewards. The screen lists them all in various categories. In the first episode, we only got done with like a few battles. We um, turned it up to times four speed. We um, got to level five. We grabbed our rewards up in the top where we got a key and we opened one of those adventure chests. And we got like an epic, but it wasn't a good one. We got our um, baby dragon. We got a goblin. We leveled them up a little bit. We got a couple uh, mastery weapons. I talked about how important it was to choose the right color mastery. Um, stuff like that. Go watch uh, the first one. I'll, I'll put all this on a playlist after I get this one out. I'll start a new playlist for uh, the new new account playthrough. All right, so let's go. You earn some gold for your shrine. Let's view it. I really don't want to because shrines, we're totally free to play on this. I am all the time, but, you know, shrines are really bad. You don't really want to buy these. It's not good value. You can get this stuff just through regular gameplay without spending money. There's not very many things I would recommend spending money on. Death Knight Armor's one. We probably won't see that for a little bit here. Um, the campaign is one. Can I turn this off? What the heck? I don't want to see that. Anyway, let's take our tribute. Tribute is, okay, so each kingdom will give a tribute based on their kingdom level and power. Um, I think Broken Spire just gives one automatically here. But it says unlock tributes at level 12. But we did get some gold. So we'll talk about tributes at level 12. We have a new offer available up here. So let's just click all our blinkies, see what's going on here. Like I said, I'm level 5. I probably need to turn the music up a little bit. I said I would. And I think I got it, you know. I turned up everything just a little bit. I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time so I can, like, keep tabs on it and not blow y'all's eardrums out. Um, all right, let's see what we got up here. You want to click on your blinkies, except for the freaking shrine if it blinks at you. But it says new offer available. What's that mean? Is that real money stuff? If so, then I'm going to be getting the heck out of here pretty quick. And it says Gems of War not responding. All right, so Hero Shop, new offer available. Uh, yeah, this is all money stuff, so screw that. We're not doing that. Continue Adventure, we still need to win more battles. So if we win two more battles, we earn our next key. Maybe we'll get an epic that's, that'll be useful. Um, hero level, we'll get something if we get to level 10, it looks like. And that's about it. So Okay, so we don't need that. We got mail. You want to collect your mail. So we got 10 gems. Gems are really important. It's like the premium currency in this game. It's the hardest one to get, I would say, as far as like normal resources like gold, gems, glory, uh, souls, um, stuff like that. So that's good. 600 gold, 2 glory. Um, really can't talk more about that at the moment. Offers, we don't have them open yet. 65, wow, level 65 for offers. They really time, like level gate a bunch of stuff. They used to not do that quite as much. Um, but uh, let's see if we got any games open yet. We have a pet rescue, maybe. Our current team right now probably can't deal with this, so I'm probably not going to do it. But pets are something we'll talk about later. You don't really need to worry about it at the moment this early in the game. Um, so yeah, we can't do any games. We can't do anything except for go to Broken Spire. So not too confusing yet because there's not much we can do here except for do this Broken Spire quest. 
Here we are, the second fortress at last. What now? Uh, this time there are two gates to get, get through. Two? Yay, but we have an advantage. What's that? Surprise, last time they saw us coming, it didn't end well. Oh? I've never seen this comic book stuff, so I'm reading it, and I don't know if I'm going to do it for, like, all of them, but the first couple, at least. All right, so here's our team. Priest, Hammer, Baby Dragon, Goblin, Warhound. Uh, we don't have any classes yet. We don't have any banners yet, so we can't worry about that. We could maybe try to level up some more. Maybe we have souls. We have 123 souls. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use the Goblin for at least a little bit, and I can't level it up right now because we need to ascend it. Ascension means you're going to collect multiple copies and then when you ascend it to the next rarity it'll its level will go up and you can level it to like level 10 if you get to rare and then 15 ultra rare you know it goes up from there um i don't know if it's, those are the exact levels but like as far as traits go we can't do traits so we can't do much right now we have goblin we have baby dragon we have warhound we got this weapon and i can't do much right now other than just fight the battles but if you like right here, I could level. Let's do this. Let's level this up to five. So now our baby dragon and our goblin are the highest level they can be at the moment. They will be able to go higher later. Um, if you're having trouble, you might want to do that. All right, so let's go fight. I'll try not to repeat myself and say things I've already said, but I probably will. So bear with me. Treat this like, kind of like a podcast, maybe if you're a beginner, or if you just want to see maybe. You learn something as a mid-game or late-game player that you just didn't think about. Um, so, uh, you know, take mana and uh, hopefully get more than one at a time. So we got green and yellow. That's good. All right, so we already got our goblin pretty close. We might as well uh, get them all the way up, right? Oh, uh, we got an extra turn right here. Here's another um, variation of an extra turn. Um, we got We're going to match this brown. And then this blue is going to fall all the way down into the middle of these four blue. So we definitely want to do that. Now we got an extra turn up here. We could take it down like this, but we're going to take it over like this so we get green as well. You don't always want to take it the way they're telling you. Like, they're telling you to take it down pretty much. We're going to want to take it over and uh, get the green as well. Because that'll give us overall. i got two things up instead of just one. All right, we got some skulls. Uh, but let's take the purple extra turn first because something might happen there. Uh, let's take the skulls now. Uh, actually, let's see. One, two, three. We could take this brown over, get an extra turn with skulls. So that's smarter, because it's still our turn now, and we just did damage to them. Goblin has an extra turn on it, so we're going to want to cast that first. Four damage. That's perfect to finish this guy off. It's still our turn. Um, this thing, not the greatest thing ever. Like It's probably the first thing I'm going to replace. It's not terrible, though, for now, but I'm not going to cast it at the moment. Because hopefully we'll kill this guy, then we'll like do it to this guy here. So let's cast this five light splash damage, which means you know it it spreads to the to the next guy down there. We can kill this one with the skulls. Now we could do the warhound because nothing else to do, right? And we might as well use it. It's gonna explode some gems, give us a little bit of mana. You see, we got one, we got one, we got one, we got four. That's from the explosion, and then whatever happened after that so we got it again i guess we might as well cast it again here and it's lowering this thing's attack now it has zero attack that means if it takes skulls it's not going to hit us for any damage at all um so he really can't do anything to us right now because his he doesn't really have a spell that does damage he can't attack us so we pretty much won at this point we got uh, yellow into blue we don't use blue so let's do green into yellow get as many matches as you can with each move all right, now they're just dead, so let's use Goblin just to keep our mechanics correct. We would uh, get an extra turn there and be able to go again. So you get experience, gold, souls. We open kingdom challenges, type of stuff you get for each battle. So, you know, we got experience for our hero. We got gold from just the uh, you match matches you do in the battle. You get gold from, from some of that and just for winning the battle and stuff. Souls, uh, three kills, three souls. Um, you can get more than that, but uh, just a regular old battle, you're just going to get, you know. Then Shrine is stupid. It just matches your gold and throws it in the thing. You can buy it with real money. Same with this one. Don't pay attention to this crap unless you're really going to spend money on the game. 
We just leveled to level 6. Do you remember the order? I think I want to change it, actually, a little bit. But nothing that uh, is too crazy. I think I want to do brown, and then red, and then purple, and then yellow, and then blue, and then green. Because we can get uh, Golden Cog sooner, which will go with our Rowan team, which we're going for. Golden Cog is a red and yellow weapon. So blue, I mean, it's it's for a uh, bronze lock pistol, but um, I would rather get the uh, Golden Cog from our Rowan team first. So the color that matters the very, very least, in my opinion, is green. So we pick green last. Here we're going to pick brown because we're going for that Mountain Crusher. And it's not just that. It's Black Manacles. It's Bronze Lock Pistol. There's like three Mang. Um, there's three different, four different weapons you're going to get with brown very early that are good. Mountain Crusher, Black Manacles, Bronze Lock Pistol, Mang, potentially Earth's Fury. Like there's a bunch of weapons involved with brown that you're going to want to want to get. So... Brown is number one, then red, because Mang is a really, really good weapon, especially if you're trying to do events or something hard. And then, um, like I said, purple for black manacles, because it hits all enemies, you can get a devour. Yeah. Let's take the skulls. Make sure you're looking, though, don't just take any old thing. You want to make sure like you don't have any extra turns, you can't make an extra turn. You can't get like a ton of mana by matching two things at once, uh, Cascades. Um, but here, I think I'm just going to cast Baby Dragon, so we can see what kind of... Ooh, Vanoxia. Vanoxia is a legendary. It creates nine green and nine blue, then deals true damage to all enemies. True damage means it just skips their armor and hits their HP only, and that's really good because then you don't have to worry about them if they have armor, which it would be right here next to this if they had armor. But right now, they only have HP. Like, I have armor. So if Vanoxia cast it on my team, it wouldn't care about this armor. It would go straight to their HP, and if you if you go to zero on HP, you're dead, no matter how much armor you have. All right, let's see here. So yellow, I don't really care about yellow. We get brown here. So yeah, let's grab the brown. We'll grab it down, and maybe a yellow will fall. Got to think about those things, even though they don't always happen. You still want to think about trying to get it to happen. All right, so green would be great, even though this thing's blocking our uh, goblin now. But if we see brown, I think we'll take brown and then green, purple, um, to get our troops up. So we got yellow again. I really don't want yellow. I want purple. I want green. I want brown. But I don't think we have any of that, so we have to take yellow. It's okay. The Warhound will blow up some some gems and uh give us a little bit of mana make sure this guy doesn't hit us too hard with skulls all right we got our hammer let's do that almost got their first troop dead Ooh, they killed my warhound i'm not too scared but because my troop that i don't care that much about Eventually, the mastery that you're getting, it's not just for weapons. It's also for when you do a match three. It's a percent chance to get a mana surge. A mana surge just means extra mana. So when we match three gems, we're going to get three mana. But you have every time we're doing that mastery after we level, it's giving us a percent chance to get more than three mana when we match three. And eventually, you're going to get up to like 50, 60, 70 percent. It's going to happen quite a bit. You'll get tired of hearing the words mana surge. And you will get more mana than just the three once we level up a little bit. All right, skulls, skulls, kill, kill. Extra turn, still our turn. Um, we want brown, so we can just get a kill here. Let's take purple and brown. Check that out. We're going to take this purple over. This brown's going to fall into this other brown. And we got brown and purple there. Uh, we got skulls. We'll take red and then get the skulls too. We got extra turn. Skulls, skulls, we win. All right, so victory. All right, once again, we got gold, we got four kills, we got four souls, we got experience for our hero, which is going to help us level up and get that mastery, get mana surges, get stats, get those weapons from mastery. That went unexpectedly well. Glad to hear it. I lost a thousand men on these walls before. How many? You heard me right. One thousand. But how? We were betrayed, our allies, but enough. We have fortress to storm. Okay. Like, I'm not trying to, uh... I'm not trying to... Looks like you've got some mail... When you have mail, you know, this thing will blink. Um, from Luther, he gave me 300 souls. That's cool, but I don't think I can level up my troops anymore. Maybe my Warhound, just so it doesn't die like that again. 
until we get some better troops. You can see all your troops in the troops menu. Let's go make one stronger. So he's going to make me do this. Uh-oh. I hope this isn't like soft lock because I already did it. Okay. Uh, passive abilities unlock with trait stones. We don't have trait stones yet. Ascension is a way to make troops more powerful by fusing together extra copies of the troop. That's the truth. For now, this level up this troop and increase their skill points using... I don't think I can, Luther. Alright, good. He just lets me out of there. Um, I hope. It still has this up here. But, uh, I don't know. We could do the Warhound, though. Um... We'll just do it for now. I mean, it's only 100 souls, and he's on our team for now. As soon as I get something else, though, I'm telling you, I'm getting rid of this thing. Um, it uses green. We already used green. It's just eliminate one attack. Explodes a couple gems. It's our worst troop at the moment. Um, I don't think we have any rewards up here, actually. Do we? Yes, we have a key. So we can um, hopefully get an epic troop that's good. So let's go try our luck. And um, anything would be better than the one we got. We got one where it just gives life to everybody on our team, and it was like one life. That's not going to help anything. Goblin Bomber. All right. We're going to start our own Goblin team. Who needs Warbands, right? We'll just start our own Goblin team. Goblin Bomber. Explode three random gems, gain an extra turn. I think that's better than the Warhound. And it's red and brown. Um... So that's cool. I think I'm going to throw that guy on the team. That's what I get for leveling up that Warhound, because now he's going to be out of here. I don't think I have any war rewards to collect here, do I? Ooh, I do. So you got to check this. we got another key. Uh, what? Did I get it? Uh, Collect next. Yes, another key. Let's go use it. Why not? These keys, you have no reason to save these adventure chest keys. Just open them up. They're going to help you right now. Dude, we already got that troop, didn't we? Give one life to all allies. Yep. Man, we don't need that at all. We could, like, ascend it. That's the first troop we got multiple copies of, but we're, we still need way more to ascend it. So, and its name is Ascendance. That's funny. All right, continue adventure. The, this fortress seems too quiet. It concerns me. Why is that? The bodies of my men, they're nowhere to be seen. Why... How could that be? I worry about the Ettens, Ogre Shamans. Who knows what they've done here? Oh, come, we'll enter the fortress and see what awaits. I'm with you. Alright, this crap doesn't really matter. You're not going to do anything. It's just a flare, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, let's go. And I'm just doing all these on video, because I heard people were having trouble here. And I want to help people out. So, I'll try to go a little quicker if I can. Extra turn. And it wouldn't let me change out of my Warhound yet. I probably could have, but I didn't. So, we'll have to use that thing one more time here. We want brown. We want green. Mostly at first. Red would be okay. Let's take the brown. Um, we got red. We got green. Let's take the red. And since we just took red, let's take it again. Uh, we're looking for brown, we're looking for red, we don't have it, so green. Don't care about the yellow too much. We got skulls. Got a kill. Still hitting me pretty hard down there. I think that Warhound's died twice now. Green, we got our goblin. Um, we want to do goblin first and then baby dragon, because goblin has an extra turn on it. So we can then do baby dragon and get a kill. I'll actually hit. He hit the wrong troop there, so. It's okay, though. We got Tiamata now, a freaking mythic. That's what's cool about the baby dragon. You can get any dragon in the game, transform into any dragon in the game. We had to take blue because there was nothing, no colors that we need. <clears throat> we need brown right now, we need green. And even green is going to, this thing's going to block the crap out of our goblin, so we really just need brown. So we got it right here. Got our hammer. I think that'll do the job. Cool, we won. We did lose our warhound, but we also had a mythic on our team when we ended, so not too bad. We opened the world quest, okay. So now I got the world quest opened up. I can put that in the uh, title. World quest acquired. 
Okay, we got green, we got yellow. We want to pick yellow. I'm telling you now, the golden cog is what we're going for with that yellow. Okay, we got a hunter spear. Deal six damage to a random enemy. That's not better because our hammer right now does splash damage, so it does that much damage too. So we might as well just stick with it. Maybe we'll change into it though because we might be using those that goblin. So let's uh, change our team here. And um, we're going to take the Warhound off and put the Goblin Bomber on. Um, and then we can change into that other weapon, the Hunter's Spear. I mean, we got this Guardian Halberd. It's just red. So is the Baby Dragon. So is the Goblin Bomber. We don't want that much red on our team because then the Goblin Bomber and Baby Dragon would never get up. This thing does a range of damage, and it could hit for 3, it could hit for 12. It's 7 mana cost. I just don't like that it's red, mostly. 6 damage to the first enemy. 6 light splash damage to an enemy. But let's use this yellow spear. 6 damage to a random enemy. Just for now. To keep our colors. We don't want the same colors. We want this guy to take yellow, red. This guy takes brown. This guy takes green. So everybody has a different color that they're taking at the moment. Eventually you get something called banners. So we get plus 1 to blue and plus 1 to, to brown right now. Uh, that's not really relevant at the moment, but we still get it. But we'll get other banners later. Let's level this thing up before we take it into battle. So you got to keep switching up. Got to get if you get better troops, use them, upgrade them, especially if it's difficult at the moment. Try something new. Don't bang your head against the wall. So we gained. So our troop that we just leveled up gained two attack, two life, and one armor. So he's a little bit more durable. You can't upgrade him anymore, huh? Um, he's an ultra rare. We just need more copies. We could move him up on the team too. We could put him in. If we could put goblin in last, like you could have a back tank. Like sometimes enemies hit the last uh, enemy, or sometimes the enemies hit your last troop. It's called a back tank. There's some spells in this game that actually hit the last troop on your team or the first troop on your team. Those are the most vulnerable positions. First, it's this one, right? First slot, because skulls, because spells. Next will probably be your last slot here, because a lot of troops hit the last slot if they don't hit all or something, or the first slot. Your most protected slot is right here, the third slot. And I think goblins probably are, you know, what we'd want to stay right there, be most protected. Because nothing specifically hits the third slot, and skulls have to go through your first and your second to get to your third. So if you need something and it's very important to your team, put it in your third slot. Put a tank in your first slot, usually. If you have an empowered troop, put it in the last slot, because it just gets up right away. Um, if we could open chests right now, I would with this gold, but I don't think we can. But let's go to battle. I need to quit talking and start playing, huh? All right, maybe we can get this goblin up. This new guy. Okay, we got brown and red here. If we take this red down, we get this brown too. Um, yeah, we could try to get our goblin. He's just a mana generator, so let's take uh, this one. Um, let's just keep going the way we're going. Let's get this guy up. Uh, now let's see. Do we have anything crazy that's gonna? We got skulls, so let's do that. Um, do we have any crazy mana matches before we do our goblin here? I don't see anything, so let's go with this guy. He's going to explode three random gems and gain an extra turn. So, like, our ma he's a mana generator for us. Um, we could take this red and get brown as well. Let's do that before they do it, and then we'll cast our spear next time, possibly. Um, yeah, let's go with the spear. It's going to hit a random enemy. Uh, then we'll do our baby dragon, see what kind of dragon we get. Ooh, Shagra. Shagra's cool. It's a legendary. It creates six red gems, then turns all red gems to skulls. It can backfire, but uh, hopefully not. Um, let's take this yellow, since it's up higher. They got skeleton. That's going to hurt. He gets an extra turn. We get an extra turn here. You see that? Two of the same color, then two of the same color, then we're going to match in between. So they're going to fall onto each other, and we're going to get an extra turn. There's many ways to get an extra turn. You just need to learn all of them. More skulls, get a kill. More skulls. Start working on that guy. 
I keep hitting my hero. Look at this, another extra turn. We're going to match three here, down, take all this yellow out. And these two brown are going to fall down on these two brown. So we got a lot of mana for our Shagra. Um, let's get it up, man. It's a legendary. Might want to try to use it. Let's cast this first, though, in case we backfire and die somehow. But, uh, yeah, let's cast it and see what happens. Bang, look at all those skulls. And uh, we can match yellow and get skulls here. And they're dead. We win. Didn't lose any troops that time. Got rid of the Warhound. We're doing better. Switched up our weapons, so we have different... We're covering diff uh, more colors. The battle is won. You did well. Outfought me, in fact. I doubt that. I think people might be having trouble because they're not getting the most out of every turn. They're not getting all the extra turns. Maybe they're matching... Uh, the matches that the, the computer tells you to match. Maybe their whole team is like a brown hole. Everything's brown, so you're not ever getting your bottom three troops up or your bottom two troops up. you got to use different color troops. you got to get the most out of every turn. you got to hit the extra turns. You don't always take the match that they ask you to take. you got to take the right mastery. you got to up, upgrade your troops and stuff and switch it up and use different weapons. And The battle is won. You did well. Outfought me, in fact. I doubt that. You're kind, but we both know the truth. What is that? My best days are behind me. My young friend, this hunt will be my last. We'll see. All right, we didn't level up, but we got some gold. We got some experience. New world quest available. Learn about hero armor from Luther. World quest can be found in the game menu. All right, so I've heard this is difficult, so would I just jump straight to it right now? I don't know. Uh, we can either click on this, or we can click on this we can continue with this quest we got challenges now this will give us souls defeat all seven challenges in a tier to unlock the next tier and earn a special reward so the first tier is souls if you want to level up troops um i forget what the second tier is but it's like gold or glory or something like that if you need that can we open chests not yet i don't think right because i got some gold nah we can't it's weird the things you can't do. We could kill the 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 pet. Definitely don't think I should be doing that. Um, let's just see what happens if we do this. We need to burn this fortress, but why? I'll not have my men wandering this place as undead for all eternity. Oh, it's the only burial I can give them. I understand. Once we do this, though, there will be no more surprise. They'll know we're coming. Okay. Is this still broken spire? I think it is. I think either way, we're still doing the same thing. Stop our master commands it. A cleansing pyre. Yeah, it's got the broken spire uh, emblem there. I think I'm going to keep the same team. They're all as leveled as they can get. We can't do anything with that weapon right now, so we got to just keep going. Nothing we can do. All right, we got skull extra turn, skull extra turn. We got brown extra turn. Lots of good stuff on our starting board. You want to take the highest one first. That way you don't mess up the lower ones. Or you don't mess up the higher ones by taking the lower ones first. If you get my drift. All right. Um, got yellow. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, let's might as well do it again, huh? Get that spear up. Might as well cast it. Six damage. Uh, we got this extra turn down here. Might as well get rid of it. So they don't take it, or maybe something will happen up top. There's no reason not to take it right now. Okay, yellow, I guess. Um, we're looking for red, brown, yellow, green. We got brown. Could have took that red. Um, red, brown, yellow, green. I don't see anything, so we just have to take a turn. Red, brown, yellow, green. We got skulls. Got red and brown. Good, good, good. All right, let's go ahead and cast this. Even though we got red into green right there, that's a good turn. Let's do it. Oh, we got skulls. We win. So didn't need to do any of that. We could have done our goblin and then did that, maybe. But the explosions might have messed up those skulls, so it was probably the right choice to do the skulls. We got our experience for our hero, our gold, our souls. Let's continue. Nothing we can do right now. We just have to keep fighting. Can't level anything up. We can't trade anything. We don't want to switch weapons. We're doing this. There's two extra turns on this board. There's this one, and there's this one. We want to take the higher one first, because if 
let's say this was over here, down here, and we take it. It'll screw this one up, so you don't want to... You always want to take the higher one first. I'm looking to make sure there's nothing there. Okay, we got this one now. And since we already took a red, we might as well just continue down that path. Take red again, try to get that baby dragon. We got yellow up here. Yellow. All right, red or yellow? Yellow. Uh, sometimes I watch these back, and I see I even make mistakes. So it's not easy to like play every turn perfectly, but you got to try. All right, we need red. We've got our dragon. Let's see what kind of dragon we get this time. We do have brown into red right now, and we do have skulls. I think skulls we get a kill. Cool thing about that is like, they're over here taking mana, trying to get their spells up, right? So if I get a kill before they get their spell up, they just wasted all those turns trying to get mana for this one. Their whole team's using purple almost. So they take a purple, it goes into this guy, then I kill this guy. All that mana's gone. It doesn't go into anybody else. Like, that mana's gone now, and it just gets you out ahead. So we got green and brown. Nice. Now we got goblin. We might as well. He, got, he has an extra turn. There's no reason not to. Let's kill this guy. Baby dragon time. See what we get. Ah, uh, ping long. Deal two damage to all enemies boosted by enchanted allies. We're not going to have any enchanted allies, but at least it hits everybody on their team. We can get our goblin and bomber up. We got skulls. Get a kill. And I think goblin bomber time right now. Cool. Uh, many skulls? No. We got brown here. We got red here. We got yellow here. What's the closest? Probably the yellow. Okay, we got our spear, and we win. But we got skulls, too. Might as well take those, get the kill. We made 12 gold up there, and then you just get more just for winning the battle, I think. Um, we got experience souls. Leveled up to 8. So we gained 1 life for leveling up. And we're going to take red here. Brown, then red then purple, then yellow, then blue, then green. It's done. May their souls find some peace at last. I hope so. We'd have taken this fortress if our allies had played their part. Your allies, eh? The knight's coronet of Sword's Edge cursed their filthy hides. What happened? We were ready to charge the gate, and they opened fire on us. Oh. Got some more gold. We just made progress, I guess. It's time to learn about keys. You may want to check your mail again. Okay. Uh, from Luther, greetings hero, a troublesome gnome gave me these keys, so what better time to teach you how to valuable they are. It's gem keys, gem keys are good. They give you a chance at everything in the game almost. There's certain troops you can't get from keys, but most of them you can get from gem keys. Mythics, legendaries, epics, everything. Um, claim, we got three gem keys. So now maybe we can even uh, use our gold and our glory and... We've sent you some keys. Let's go open up some chests and see what you get. So we open chest. We open the world quest. I don't see it really yet, though, the world quest. I don't know where to go, though. There are many different types of keys, but we've given you some gem keys. They can give you some of the rarest troops in Crystara. Ain't that the truth? Select the button to open up some chests with your keys. One thing you do not want to do is do it with gems here. Gems are very valuable, and you may want to open... And try for troops, because you want a rare troop, you want a good troop, you want a better team. But it's really not worth it. Just wait for keys, especially on gem chests. Let's open up three. See what we get. Minogore. He's not bad. Freya. And Fire Giant. I like the Fire Giant. So Freya. Deal five damage to an enemy if they're a boss. Freeze a random enemy. So boss is going to be like a raid event. It's going to be Zul'Goth, uh, stuff like that. So it's more like an event troop we don't use outside of that event. Fire Giant's pretty good for the early game. It deals damage to an enemy. Deal triple damage if they're burning. Create ten red gems if the enemy dies. Um, that's good, because if you get a kill, you make a ton of red. And then if you have a red troop on your team, you might be able to get them up. Minagore's pretty good, I think, in, like, uh, the arena. Deal damage to an enemy boosted by my attack, life, and armor. If the enemy's attack is weaker, deal double damage. So as long as your attack's higher, you're going to deal 8 damage there. And you got a little more, uh, more boost on it from your attack, life, and armor and whatnot. But 
So we're not going to do this. Not a good idea, I'm telling you. One chest for ten gems. We will wait on that. But we could do some gold. I think I'm going to wait on that too, because we're going to need some gold to do kingdom level and power and stuff. At the moment, I'm happy with what I've got, so I'm not going to do anything else here as far as chests yet. We will be getting keys. We'll join a guild. We'll get keys from that. Um, we'll t you know, each day you get mail and get some some keys. Like we're gonna get keys, so we'll be patient. So where's this freaking world quest? Like I want to see something that says freaking world quest. Oh, here we go. So people are having trouble with this and clicking on it. It's time you got some better armor, my friend. Um, can I get out of this without doing it? I just want to see if it's the same thing. Uh, do we get something here? You gotta keep checking. We did, we got an adventure key. So we might as well go open that. And we're starting to get quite a few troops. Sword Maiden. Deal three to three damage to an enemy. That's quite a range. We're gonna deal three damage to that to the enemy. It, it'll go up if our magic would go up, but... Uh. All right, should I check this world quest out? I've heard that people are having trouble with it, though. Why would I go do that? Let's just see. Is it the same thing here? Um. No, it's different. So why you should probably complete this first. And something's popping up on my screen. I hope y'all don't see that. I wonder if you do. Nope. All right. My bad here. We only got like 10 minutes left on this video. I'm not going to try to make it too, too long. The path gets steeper from this point onward. What's ahead? It's not been that far, but expect more Rhinex. That's this high up. Eh, they're more nimble than they look. Is that all? Maybe some hippograph. There. We're unlucky. Some stone giants. I'll keep an eye out. So I think I would keep doing this. I don't think I would go to the world quest yet. I would try to complete this first, at least. But we have it open. And we do have new troops now. We can go take a look and see. Do we want to replace anything on this team? Baby Dragon's cool and everything, but I might build a whole team of goblins, like I said. We don't have another goblin. We only got one. Like, Fire Giant would be cool. But I kind of like what I got going on right now with the goblins. So, yeah, he's a good troop to look out for. And uh, he's yellow and brown. We're already using those colors. I don't want to take the goblin off. The baby dragon. If I put him on, we'd then have yellow and brown. And he'd only be making red for the goblin bomber. So at the moment, I'm going to keep my team like this. But uh, yeah, fire giant is a decent troop if you get it. Um, sword maiden only does three damage, so that's not great. So let's just stick with this for now. Let's go to the next battle. And yeah, I think I'd recommend finishing out this quest line before you mess with the world quest at the moment. And then we will see after we're done with this. We're not going to... Just because it says you can do the world quest doesn't mean you should. But it's saying something about armor. We might be able to... That's something you're going to buy with real money or gems. We don't have enough gems right now. I don't know. I guess it would help. If we had some armor that's going to give us extra experience or, or souls or gold, it would definitely help to do it sooner than later. So maybe I will go check it out before we end this video at least. Um, we got red here, red here, purple down there. Let's just take this red over. Um, we got red, yellow. Brown's not bad. Let's take brown. We got skulls. And we just need one more damage to kill this thing. Yeah, let's check out the world quest real quick after this. And we're going to win. Well, I haven't lost a battle yet. I've lost a troop once or twice, that Warhound, but... Alright, let's go check it out, man. I'm going to check out this world quest. Did I just gain more? No. I don't think so. Yeah. Alright. But yeah, keep clicking on this every time you can. Um, Let's check it out, man. Let's check out this world quest. Let's see. I might not finish it, but it's here. And we can do it. Uh, it's time we got you some better armor, my friend. Oh, I know some dwarves who can make you some. Very well. We'll just need to gather some materials first. Materials. 
Uh, we'll need some iron, some gold, and a little mithril. Lead on. All right, let's see how hard this is. Beep boop. All right, let's go. Let's see what happens. Is it hard? I'm sure it's like later on that it gets hard, but this does look a little harder. There's four troops. They have 15, 13, 11, 9. Like, I have 9, 12, 10. This is more of an even battle than we've been fighting, so it does look slightly harder than what we're doing at the moment. Uh, we got red into green into yellow, so we're going to take this down here. That's all colors that we use. Um, so our goblin or our... Okay, we don't have it, though, so we'll just take brown. That's fine. Uh, we need yellow, red, green, brown. We got brown right here. Probably should have went there. Maybe get these a skull to fall. Nope. Okay, we got a goblin bomber. I think that's the way to go. All right. Now we got our spear. Let's make sure we don't have any amazing mana match before we do it. All right, just blue. We don't use blue, so let's cast the spear. All right, we got red here. We know because the last turn there was nothing going on that that's the move to make. Getting closer to killing this guy, but it's taking three shots. It's definitely harder than what we were doing. Uh, we got red here. Ooh, I missed a purple extra turn. Bad, Cinny. All right, we got the dragon. Let's turn into something really good here. And even though we are turning into something uh, good, um, man, we might lose this after that. Do you see what just happened there? They shot us pretty hard. We might... A troop is burning. It will take three damage per turn until the effect wears off. Yeah, that's the truth. He's going to die next turn. Oof. You might see me lose here. Because uh, if they do that again, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble if they do that again. Ooh, and then our goblin goes down. Not good. This is going to be rough. We have no mana right now. They're about to cast... We are in trouble here. It doesn't mean you have to do this though. If it's something is hard, don't don't try to, don't try it again. Killed the first troop. We just need to get rid of this guy and we'll be, I think, okay. Mm. Ooh, I gave him a big old yellow extra turn too. <clears throat> Some skulls. They hit me back. We really need to get something up here. Okay, okay. please hit that first troop. If it doesn't, I think we're dead. Yes, we got lucky. All right, I'm getting the heck out of here. If I win this, I am out of here. This is too hard at the moment. If I can pull this off somehow, I'm getting the heck out. Okay, we got this. Convert brown to red. Deal six damage to an enemy. Boosted by gems converted. So a 2 to 1 ratio right now. If we cast it, we're going to get plus 4, so it's actually going to do 10 damage to an enemy. And you want to kind of wait to cast this until you conver convert brown to red and make an extra turn. If you can wait, like right here, we're going to get an extra turn from doing that. So we know it's a really good time to cast this spell. Watch as we get an extra turn here. I want to kill this guy. Boom, extra turn. Now we have it again, and it's there again. Brown to red. you got to remember that. It's conversion. Who cares about these skulls? Because extra turns are king. We're going to cast it, and this is going to turn. We're going to get a ton of red. And it's probably going to get up again. It's up again. So now we got skulls. We win. That was difficult, though. I think I'm going to wait on that until I level up a little bit more. Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. You don't have to continue. That was too hard. I mean, I might be able to do it, but I'm not going to recommend that y'all do it, you know? All right, I think we're almost done for this one. Uh, we did open the world quest. We did try it. Um, we got a different weapon, different troops. We opened chests. We started opening chests up. Um, we did a couple more things up here. Uh, let's do one more battle, and then we'll be done for the day. Let's continue with this thing. Climb the steepest part of the trail. And that's the same thing as, as just clicking up here, right? Yep, same thing. So you can either do that or you can do the world quest. So just don't do the world quest at the moment. Let's get Broken Spire done first, at least. Let's get some better troops. Let's level up. Let's get some, uh, you know, open some chests. Let's get some more of the game opened up. 
Let's not jump straight to the world quest. That's not a good idea. It seemed to be... Way, like, look at this. This has 5, 1, 5, 1. 6 and 6. And there's only 3 troops. It's obviously easier than the thing we just did in the world quest. Where there was 4 troops and they all had tons of, like, at least a little bit of armor and a little bit of HP. And they had, like, over 10, 11, 12 durability. These things have half that. So this is half, this is twice as easy as what the world quest would be right now. So, yeah, definitely recommend not jumping straight to the world quest when it opens. Um, and I would never be able to tell you that, except for I'm doing this right now, this new account playthrough. Uh, let's grab some red, I guess. Ooh, yeah, we got a lot there. All right, who's closest? Uh, the Goblin Bomber's really close, and so let's get it. Get some mana, get an extra turn. Skulls, get a kill. Skulls. Um, let's cast it. Extra turn. Got a kill, too, because we blew up skulls, and any skull you blow up, you get one damage from it. Until it come, until um, uh, Doom Skulls come in, then it's five damage. Okay, so we'll cast this. We get an extra turn. That's why goblins are good. Extra turns are king. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get our spear and win. And uh, we got skulls, too. So we overkilled them, pretty much. So we would have had a spear, also. And we leveled to level nine. Casual PvP just opened up. Gained one life. Get more mastery. We get to choose brown again. We got a weapon, the silver sword. Deal eight damage to the first enemy. I might switch into that. Um, but yeah, let's uh, stop there for today. I don't think we have any rewards here. Let's see. Yeah, just keep collecting this stuff. You gotta check. You never know. I'm not keeping tabs on what it's like telling me to go for there but uh, we got something from uh, clicking on it um but yeah that's it for today opened up the world quest got some new troops got some new weapons opened up chests we can now do chests opened up pvp but we're not going to worry about that right now i think everybody that you know at this point in the game where i'm level nine and i'm still like really low level and i just have my first team ever and i'm just trying to get this done the broken spire quest don't worry about world quest over here just because it's there who cares we'll do that later when we're strong enough to do it don't worry about pvp over here you know it's casual pvp um it's time you tried attacking another player great rewards are you in pvp i don't want to right now luther maybe next time but yeah that's it for this one i'm not trying to make this like an hour long Next time, we will hopefully complete Broken Spire, and then we'll see where we go from there. I don't know. Um, hopefully, we start getting more mastery weapons, different troops. Maybe we can make another team. Maybe we stay with the same team. We just change the troops up, the weapons up. Stuff will, More stuff will open up, more game modes, uh, the ability to join a guild. Um, tons of stuff's going to open up, and I'll explain as we go. But yeah, like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel, comment below, and I will see y'all next time. Peace.